Hey, what's up, guys? Tech for me, gonna be here. This is gonna be a quick episode of the Apple Dose. The Apple Dose is a weekly segment I'm starting every Friday, bringing you some of the latest tech and Apple news. Up in this week's news, we are going to have the iPad and iPad Mini refresh event, which is going to be this October 22nd, 2013. And we're also going to have some new iPod Touch leaked rumors for release dates. This is the Apple Dose. Let's get rounded up all those doses of apples. So the iPad mini is going to be launched again with the iPad at one single event on October 22nd, 2013. They're going to be releasing the iPad just for viewing purposes and they're going to have the event. But it won't really come out until about a week later. Notice that the September 10th release of the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, iOS 7, new iTunes store, all of these, they didn't get released till the 18th or the 20th. So I'm guessing that the new iPad may be around just during Halloween. So you may get it then. And uh, yeah, it's bringing a lot of new specs. iPad's supposed to be bringing the newer Retina display. And the little iPad mini is supposed to be maybe bringing a fingerprint sensor. So we don't know, but I'll be sure to do a live update whenever we do get that coverage. Now let's move on to iPod Touches, which is our last story that they said. The iPod Touch was one of the best devices that you can listen to music on, play games such as Angry Birds, you can play Grand Theft Auto on some iPods that support it, and it's a really nice little device that you can use as an MP3 player, and it's basically supposed to be iPod, meaning MP3 player, play music. You know, all of that is something that you can use as an iPhone, but not with the phone feature. You still have iMessaging and all of that, but that's about it. So I'm thinking the refresh is going to come just around, just around, of right around November. Because notice that they did their iPhone and iPhone 5C and iOS 7 and iTunes update in September. They're doing their iPad and iPad mini refresh in October, so most likely won't they do their iPod Touch in November and maybe their MacBook in December? We don't know, but hopefully I'm right. There's a 50-50 chance I'm right. And I'll see to that that I give you guys an update to see if I was actually right, because if I am, wow. Anyways, guys, those were your latest stories today for Apple News. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, thanks so much for watching. Please thumbs up the video. I'll leave a comment down below of what you want to see from Apple. And maybe I'll include it in next week's segment. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!